Good morning. Good morning to everybody that is joining Harvard Kennedy School of Government to discuss a topic that I found really, really interesting, needed, and exciting. Um, congratulate, congratulations to all of you uh, to uh, get together to discuss uh, the issue of how to put together all the pieces of knowledge and creation and science that is needed um, to understand uh, the cacao uh, value change, uh, the cacao crop uh, sustainability uh, growth in, in the world. Uh, we are very, very interested in, in this topic and uh, we truly believe it, uh, it, it is or could be um, a, a great instrument for climate change in, in, in the world. Uh, cocoa it create, uh, cocoa beans and chocolate also create um, many reasons um, for Ecuador to be interested in this topic. Uh, first of all, Ecuador is one of the largest growers of cacao phenolaroma, which is one of the best in the world. And we have, as a government, uh, been working together with different institutions in my country to also um, in include uh, value added to our cacao beans to produce chocolate. And we have uh, been delighted of the efforts, uh, the joint efforts of the public and private sector. And uh, Ecuador has been uh, winning a lot of the gold medals and, um, and silver medals in New York and Paris in the last uh, few years. And uh, we have become a very niche uh, ex exporter of, of, the, of the best uh, uh, cocoa in the world. I congratulate you for this idea of creating this network of experts in, in science and getting all these pieces that I believe are very fragmented and diffuse in, in many universities and in many places in the world and come together with the objective of creating this uh, knowledge uh, sharing uh, network first and, and then with the aim of creating this uh, knowledge uh, center for the cacao uh, value change. And also I believe that having this sort of like university for one crop will be a fantastic uh, idea. Um, I knew about this through Andres Hidalgo, who is a fellow and a very good friend, uh, Ecuadorian in, in Harvard, and uh, I wanted you to convey the interest of my country, the interest of my government in supporting your idea. Ecuador has become the leading Latin American uh, country in investing in education. For us, education is not only a way out of a poverty, a way of creating real opportunities for our citizens, but also is a way for the future. We, we are transiting to a knowledge-based uh, economy. That's our aim. Uh, that's how we're walking, the path that we're paving. Uh, we have sent 7,000 students in the last four years to the top universities in the world, such as Harvard and others in the United States and other parts of, of the world. We have um, just inaugurated a new university, which is called the Child, which means learn um, in, in, in our um, Quechua language. And this university is going to be based in, in, in science. It's going to be based, um, of course, also dealing with the issues that you are discussing right now, uh, how to deal with sustainability issues, how to deal with climate change issues, how to uh, deal with uh, water resources, scarcity, uh, and, and others. And the China is also a knowledge plant city and uh, will have a complex of uh, centers. They, they, all the institutes, and one of them are agriculture research institute, is going to be based in that uh, knowledge city. And, and also, we are welcoming partnerships with the private sector to work together in, in issues such as, of course, how to make our process more uh, greener and, and, and efficient. So we will, um, and, and, and besides the China, there are other three universities, one in the, in the Amazonia, in the, in the red forest of Ecuador, that is called Iqiam, and that is going to be studying the biodiversity of our country, and it's going to be also a unique place to research. You know, can you imagine having a university and having just in the backyard the rainforest to explore? Also, we're going to have a university of arts that was of the very interest of your president, of President Harvard, when we visit her. And for one, that is going to be the university for our teachers, since we truly believe that teachers are, you know, the, 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 the first um, driver of change in, in education. So many exciting things are happening to Ecuador, and um, we're glad that this idea also um, really is in tune 
with what we are doing. And as I said previously, we are here to support that initiative and I hope that moves forward and we will um, look for uh, the success of it and of course to collaborate uh, uh, to include Ecuador in that network that we are creating and perhaps be in the home of that knowledge center that you are so able to, to create. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to talk to you today and I wish you to all of you the best and of course I would like to extend uh, all of you an invitation to come to visit my beautiful country Ecuador.